Hi there. Welcome back. Thank you for your patience while I experiment with all different kinds of setups here. Light configuration, candles, um, lighting. As I was saying in the other video that I just did, I had two really beautiful videos recorded this morning and they failed totally because my mic failed on me. So after hours of trying to figure out if there was any way to fix the audio, I finally just abandoned it and deleted them. I was really sad. I got kind of attached to those readings and couldn't wait to share them. And it was hard for me to let go of, but I let go of it. So I just did a mystery spread. You can check that one out. It's posted on, on my channel here. And now I'm going to do a love reading. What's happening for us in the realm of love? Um, I'm going to keep working on my configuration here so that I can get a setup where we can see the cards plus me. It's a challenge with this um, room, the way I have it set up. Um, I'm going to keep exploring and working on it, though. Um, I'm committed. I can be impatient, and if I'm not good at something right away, I abandon it, but I... I don't want to do that because I, I'm excited to start this channel. I'm just going to try to be patient with myself while I work it out. But I can tell already, I feel like these candles are maybe a little bit distracting this way. So I'm going to trade them because I, I feel like this is too much light right here. It's distracting me on the side. So I'm going to put these back. Okay, so that might be a little bit darker. Sorry, but I'm just doing what I can to work with what I feel comfortable with. So this reading, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. What's happening for us in love? What are going to be some love messages for us? The love reading I did, I know I keep going on and on, but it was so beautiful. I'm really disappointed that these videos didn't work out, but you live and learn. I've learned a lot today, even though I didn't get anywhere I learned what is not going to work. So that's something. Um, now I have a little bit more idea of what I am going to need. What's happening in love for us? What can we expect? What are some important messages for us to know about love? you're sending love and protection energy out to the people of Palestine. This is egregious and unacceptable what's happening. Um, I know it makes many of us who are active for justice feel powerless. We're so far away. Um, some radical people just went up and blocked the warship in Tacoma, which was really exciting and I'm definitely in solidarity with them. It sounds like there were some mistakes made but also some some triumphs of recognizing that people will turn out. I wasn't there. I definitely appreciate the people that were there. What's happening in love? similar to the reading that was this morning. Not quite. But pretty positive. This looks like it's what it's reflecting to me so far is that it's not been an easy road, but things are looking up and things are looking really exciting for you actually. So I hope you're going to like this reading. I'm excited already. So at the heart of it is the strength card. <coughs> So you might be a Leo or have a lot of Leo placement in your chart, but really for me, the strength card shows up when I've had to be really strong at overcoming some of my more challenging impulses. I have a really combative and fiery nature. I have my Mars and Aries, so the strength card comes up a lot for me because I've had to learn over many years that my words can be very wounding even when I'm not intending that or realizing their power. So I've learned a lot over the years when I'm in that kind of energy, right? So that strength card is really representing for me that you've done a lot of inner work to overcome some of your darker impulses in love, right? So you might have 
had a sorrowful ending and you really worked to learn from the sorrow and transcend it and heal it, right? Or something, something major. And what's furthering this strength energy is the empress. So it's really brought you into an empress energy. An empress is the, is a really, the term would be in tarot, like a divine feminine energy. The empress is a, it's not a godlike energy, but it's sort of one of the highest representations of the feminine polarity in tarot. And she was in the first reading I did this morning too. So to see this empress here, furthering the work that you've done in an inner way to really overcome any dark or negative experiences that might have impacted your behavior in life, you're really coming into this beautiful empress energy where you get to attract all the beautiful things that are meant for you. Energy in the higher realms are, you might have felt like life kept throwing obstacles in your way that made you feel worried about um, being left out in the cold. Like you might have been really struggling or grappling to feel safe in your body or safe in the material world or safe in love and had challenges with that. Um, and those challenges, what I'm seeing here is that those challenges were what brought on the strength energy, that the challenges that you faced, maybe in a way, if you're a spiritual person, were by design in order to show you what you're really made of, right? What you're really capable of. Um, there was a greater purpose behind some of the struggles and the fears that you've had about your security and love. There was a bigger purpose. And sure enough, as we say that, what's going on in the unseen is the magician card. So these two things together are really a beautiful energy of like, you have really become kind of a master creator of the life that you want or that the life you are going to have for yourself in the future that you're creating for yourself now. And the universe may have thrown obstacles in your way or blocks in your path in order to teach you the lessons that you needed to learn by overcoming those obstacles. The results of all of this are this empress and this magician energy where either you and the love, per the person that you love or you and your inner creator are now coming into a harmony where you're gonna be receiving all these things you've been working towards. And this is, I know, gonna be reassuring for you to hear because the recent past is the Nine of Wands. So you've really been feeling like, when is this ever gonna end? I'm exhausted. I know these things are for my higher good. I know this is for my better. I know I'm taking the harder route, but that's the wiser route. But you might have started wondering like, fuck, you know, when is my reward? Like, what? when is it gonna be over? I'm The Nine of Wands is a wounded warrior and so you're battle weary from having to overcome what you've overcome by finding your bigger, higher self and finding your inner strength and not succumbing to like shadow impulses that are unexamined or that might be hurtful to others, right? You're coming through that time and now in the near, near, near future is the world card. So all of this hard work that you've been doing, you're now in this divine, wise, beautiful, receptive energy of magic coming into your life in this in totally new world. So the difficult times that you've been through are wrapping up. This is the past portion of this spread. Um, your approach has been to be starting to have doubts. You've been starting to be worried. It's the four of cups of like, fuck, I don't know. I've been doing it. I've been doing it. I've been doing it. I just feel like I'm not getting anywhere or I'm not seeing the results yet and I'm starting to kind of be pissed at God or whatever, right? Like I've definitely been there where I'm like, why, why can't I, why is the universe handling or handing me even more to overcome or even more trauma or even more loss? I personally have been through a lot of grief and loss in my life. I've had many, many losses. And so it's easy at a point when you've been committed to your healing, there are definitely dark points when you go through a dark night of the soul where you don't feel grateful, where you feel frustrated, where you feel tired, where you feel wondering, like, where is the relief? Where is the reward for this hard work that I've been willing to do in my inner world and in my outer world? Well, guess what? It's coming. That's what's so exciting because your nine of wands really needs to know that what's coming for you is the nine of cups. So everything that you've been working for, everything you've been striving for, it's on its way and it's heading towards you. 
aided by this empress energy where you're in a receptive energy that's re rewards can start coming to you the new era is in the near future so that's not something that's way off you know maybe 10 years from now i'll be healed and able to ha you know it's not way off this is all happening right now this disappointment and fear that you're feeling and fatigue and tiredness and even kind of an energy of like what the hell what has this all been for boom here comes the nine of cups if you haven't experienced this yet you're about to start getting some really positive joyful loving cups coming your way for your love reading here um and then what you're really really hoping for is a completion this could be a union with somebody that you love and trust it can represent literally like a wedding sometimes this card is shown as a wedding canopy um, it's a joyful, what you're really desiring and hoping for is a joyful resolution and time of peace and prosperity and trust and safety in your life. It's a beautiful card, the Four of Wands. It it's, makes sense that you've been committed to a process like this because this is the dream. This is what many people want, a feeling of a safe home, a feeling of a safe love. A feeling of a safe relationship where you're able to bloom and be everything that you can be you can do that on your own but relationships we're all relational even people who may think I don't like people I don't want to be around anyone well guess what we're social creatures we need affirmation and love from one another so this is a beautiful thing to be hoping and striving for and the outcome is the six of wands so it's a success all of this difficulty these temporary doubts this may be clouded perspective right now because you've had to work so hard and you're not sure if the rewards are coming. Boom, they're really, they're already happening. Like the, your reward is coming, whether you're seeing it or not, you honestly really don't have to do anything else. It's on its way to you. But I'm gonna pull some extra cards now that the big message is here. <laughs> What's important to understand about these difficulties the five of pentacles the nine of wands strength what has been important for you to overcome what have been your lessons this might help you know that this reading is for you this is for love after all what have these difficult love lessons taught you They've taught you something, life really, life really handed you some challenges. That's what I'm seeing here. You had to walk away from something and it's a walking away that comes with a lot of sorrow. You understood that you needed to do it. That's why the strength card is here. You had the strength to recognize this is no longer for me, whatever it was. It might've been a past relationship, right? Or a past loss. Um, that you had to walk away from and it's got you hurting it still stings the this loss and this maybe what walking away can sometimes feel like a failure even though you know it's essential like a divorce for example a divorce usually you are okay with it or you're on board or whatever um but it doesn't come without a lot of sorrow and a lot of people feel like they've just been through a massive failure when they've been through a divorce, right? So maybe it was, it was the wise choice to get divorced, but it's got a sting. And the four of pentacles came up again. So it's really had you questioning at points, like what the fuck was this all for? And it brought you to your knees. The 10 of swords is a card of total surrender. So whatever went down in this heartbreak, in this need to walk away, um, the surrender that you've had to do still has quite a bit of a sting to it. And that's, you know, that's, it is what it is. I mean, I get that. I have losses that are, some of them way in the past that still, when I reflect on them, they have a sting, right? So there's no shame in that. That's, um, it's really being reflected here that your current perspective even might still be a little bit like, I don't know, you know, maybe for other people, but not for me. You might be having some doubts. This is a new deck um, I just got. It's a historic French deck, the Atelier. Atelier? I can't remember how to pronounce it. What else? 
Let's get one of these beautiful cards here. What's important to know about this difficult transition and the pain that you're leaving behind? It had you really feeling like, is there even a world for me? Like, is there even going to be a place that's safe for me where I do have my needs met and I'm with someone, for example, who truly loves me? The Five of Pentacles, sometimes it's showing two people who are in a really difficult, traumatized position in life, staring through the windows of the church and feeling like they don't have a place in there. They feel on the outside of it. They feel hurting and alone somewhat or abandoned. What else is important for you to know about this? This was painful, whatever it was, and it's got you stung. You're still feeling pretty stung by it. The heavens. So yeah, the heavens are here, like the star, the heavens, El Cielo. It's a beautiful card, right? Um, this is here, along with this six of wands coming out. and the Seven of Swords. Now I'm gonna pull some uh, Oracle cards here. What else is important for you to know? This kind of fight is over. The Seven of Swords can be a little bit of a card of deception. So somebody, you might've felt deceived in the past or you might be getting away. You might also feel like this new stuff coming in is so great that you're gonna be like, man, how did I feel like the thief getting away with the prize? Like, how did this happen? It might be that kind of a quick turnaround where you have to pinch yourself in the beginning. What else? Anima Animus. This card came up this morning in the love reading. So you've had to really integrate your inner feminine and masculine this, the anima animus is a Carl Jung concept in psychology. It's really your opposite. So if you are someone who operates in the world as a masculine, for example, you identify as male, your inner opposite, your inner female needs to be in balance with you. Um, it's important for health, for our mind and for our souls, really, to have a healthy representation of masculine and feminine energy within you if that results in a neutrality where you don't even I, you're not even on the gender spectrum you've transcended it that's great if it means that you're presenting as a woman but you have a very healthy and solid inner masculine that's great too anima animus came up this morning in this love reading as did the song animate by rush and i'm sort of an older metalhead <laughs> and math rock fan i love rush and Neil Peart wrote a song about this concept called Animate. And it was about his own journey of going within and really bringing his inner feminine into balance. Um, he went through a lot of loss in life. He lost his wife and daughter, I think, and was the lone survival and survivor in his family. And I think he was an atheist. And so he went on a really deep inward journey spiritually where he tried to integrate all of these unhealed parts of himself. So that's a beautiful representation here. And it kind of, like this could be, Neil Peart is no longer with us. May he rest in peace. But this could be his reading, right? Like this can be him when he was on his motorcycle journey. Like, fuck you, universe or cold feeling empty space. Like, how dare you rob me of everything that was important to me? He lost it all, right? In terms of his relationships. And he had to go through that dark night of the soul where he went really deep and alchemized his pain. Um, what else? It's just, the reason I'm going so deeply into that is because it, the song came up for me when I woke up this morning, then the card, and it was in the first love reading. So it's a message that's really needing to come out. I recommend listening to Animate if you haven't. It's one of my favorite Rush songs. Find and be with your loyal and devoted community of support. So this is that five of wands, and, or sorry, four of wands energy and nine of cups. Like as this new world is ushering in for you with the heavens and the six of wands and the empress, just enjoy any sort of resentment or frustration you're feeling about everything you've had to go through. You don't even have to try to force it away. Just allow it to wash away as you see these new experiences start to come in and enjoy your community in the meantime. 
Sacred Marriage Alchemy. This is it. So this reading, you've been taken down this intense road and it's alchemized and healed you from within to the point that now get ready because this whole new era is ushering in for you. This new world, this four of wands, the six of wands. It's a really successful, loving energy after a period of frustration and exhaustion. There's a magician card here, which is a great sign. The empress is a really good sign. That's the card of understanding you don't have, your work is done. You've been through the hardest. You can rest. It's okay if you're still a little bit resentful about all this. We're human. What do you have to look forward to? What are the exciting things that you have to look forward to and love now that you've done all this inner alchemizing and healing work? What's, what's going to be helpful for you to know going forward for love? What do you have to look forward to? There's all these great things coming. And two cards wanted to come out, so I'm going to pull both. This one and that one. Buy the book and exchanging gifts. So you have some really lovely things coming. I knew it. I'm excited. This is exciting for you for love. So don't worry. This sort of frustrated, stagnant, wounded warrior, where the fuck is my salvation? Where is my reward, right? you It's normal. We're human. It's normal to be feeling like that. Like, why have I had to go through all this? Where is the fruits of all of my dark night of the soul I've been going through? Well, it's coming. And the first thing to know is by the book. It's card number 11. The four of wands can be seen as a card of uh, 11, 11. By the book, by the book. Getting along with others entails understanding and respecting who they have become as a result of their environment, culture, and experience. Find the middle ground that allows the relationship to flourish while honoring the individuality of the other person. Play things by the book instead of trying to break the rules or pressure others to conform to the way you want them to be. Your connection will deepen as a result. So you're in that energy now and it's a really um, nice energy to be in of just knowing you don't have to force anything, you don't have to push anything forward, you don't have to get this person who's on your heart and on your mind to do anything different. You can allow and let things to start coming to you because things are coming. You don't have to control the flow. It's better to surrender like you've started doing, that Ten of Swords surrender, so that things can start flowing. And here's what's flowing to you, exchanging gifts. 27. Love is an exchange of life force energy between two beings. It grows exponentially when it is reciprocated. You must give and receive the Empress. Sometimes if you're not in touch with your inner feminine, it can be really difficult to receive. If you've been forced into overdrive masculine energy, it can be really, really a rough task to learn how to slow down and receive and be in yin energy, right? Um, Spirit wants you to start accepting all the blessings waiting for you, as well as offer the same gifts in return. Open your heart and allow it to be filled. Let love in and let it flow out of you too. Love is truly yours today. So this is like, let go of these four of cups. Keep doing the surrendering because what's on his way is the nine of cups, the four of wands, the six of wands, a new world created by your empress, your strength, and your magician energy. It could even be that this is the masculine that's coming for you, this magician. I might actually get another card just out of curiosity. Let's push it. Let's just see. What's the magician here? Is the magician you and your inner alchemy work that you've done? Because a lot of times that's more shown up by the temperance card, and that card actually did come out this morning. What's the magician card or the magus? Why is he here? Have you become your own master creator or is this represent somebody else? Who's the magician? 
the Six of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, and the Six of Wands again. So it's not going to give up a lot of information. It might be a page, but really what I'm getting is this, that the magic that's present is that you're about to get some really good news. The Page of Wands is a card of great news and of joyful news and of joyful relationships and friends, right? He's a really positive figure. So your giving and receiving is coming into balance because of this magic that's present. Good news is coming into you. Victorious fire element energy is coming into you. All you need to do is receive. You really are being advised here. Just receive and allow the love to start coming your way. You might have trouble trusting it at first. And the the reading that I just did before this might have a message for you because it was talking about that very theme. Keeping hold of your discernment and your clarity of mind, but not being so guarded and protected that you don't receive the love that's trying to come to you. So that's good information. Um, just know that the trials and the kind of dark night of the soul energy that you've been through is coming to an end. And in the near future, you have this new world energy of exchanging gifts and... Um, this El Cielo, the Seven of Swords, who I think is you. I think you're going to have to pinch yourself. I think this is really lovely. Things are going to start moving, so be ready. Um, I hope you enjoy, and thank you for your likes and subscribes and comments, and thank you especially for your patience while I get these things figured out. And I'll see you soon. Um, I look forward to doing more.